So this is my wireless media adapter, and as you can see, uh, when it's in the stored position, it actually looks like this. So what I do is just take off the protective cover, and I can put that one side. Now, one thing I want to mention, this little piece of plastic is very, very important. Let me tell you why. One, it protects your ports, right? So you have a HDMI port here, and I have my USB. But very another very important thing, if you're traveling with this, and you're using this in your hotel room, chances are you're going to forget this is connected to the back of your television, and some lucky person is going to get themselves a free wireless media adapter. So this little piece of plastic actually can serve as a, another purpose. If you have this on your desk, when you're packing up ready to go, when you look at this, you're, you're going to say, hey, what's this for? Oh, yes, it's for my wireless media adapter which is um, behind the television set. Let me go get it. So, here again is the wireless media adapter. Here's my HDMI port, and here's my USB port. So, on the back of my TV I have one, two available HDMI ports. I'm going to use HDMI port number two, so I plug that in there. And then, of course, this has to be powered by some things. So that's where this USB connection is needed to provide power. Now I have two available USB uh, uh, slots on the back of my TV, so I'm actually going to use any one, it doesn't matter. Uh, plug it in here. So for those of you who are interested in the, the power rating, so typically these USB ports give you a, a 5 volt DC, 0 0.5 amp power source, and that's pretty standard for, for these USB ports. So we have successfully installed the wireless media adapter and as you can see it took mere seconds so at this point let's go back now to our Nvidia Shield and let's connect up to the television via the Miracast wireless technology so at this point I have successfully installed the wireless display adapter dongle uh, behind this television set this is a 52 inch uh, Samsung smart TV um, that I normally use to watch you know all my favorite sports and play my games um, so, what I've done, I've installed the dongle, and I've also powered that dongle by connecting the USB plug that I showed you uh, into uh, an available USB port, which is also located behind the television. So I then powered on the TV, and then I changed the input mode. So this is what you see, um, and this is what is being displayed by that dongle, um, the wireless display adapter. So the ID for this particular dongle is called MS Display Adapter 94. So what that pretty much means is that I can go on my Windows tablet, uh, again, Windows 8.1 or higher, or a Windows um, smartphone, or in this case, a Android gaming system. This is my NVIDIA Shield uh, Android gaming system. Um, this is version 1 that was launched a couple years ago. Very popular handset, um, sorry, very popular game, uh, portable game uh, console. What I like about it too is that it's very, very powerful, um, powered by the NVIDIA um, chip series, uh, for, you know, great graphics processor, multi-core. Um, I do have a review on this, so um, there should be a link on this video where um, you can actually see my review on this. But um, yeah, it's, has a, it's a clamshell, and what's good about it is that you can um, even you know, change these little covers and customize them and all that. Um, but yeah. Now I believe this has been discontinued and there is now uh, NVIDIA Shield uh, version 2, uh, different form factor. What they've done, they've actually changed, gone from this to a, uh, an 8 inch uh, gaming tablet, uh, Shield tablet, and a separate gamepad. Um, but I like this, it's uh, you know all in one and it's, it's unique, right? Anyway, so this is with um, Android powered um, and it is Miracast enabled, so in theory, this should connect to this um, wireless display adapter because it's based on the same Miracast technology. So let me just now show you how you pair your NVIDIA Shield game unit with this uh, display adapter and then let's get to some gaming. So on my NVIDIA Shield, this center button here, if I press it, you get the game mapper um, application and that's uh, where you can map your physical keys to the soft keys that you would normally see on the computer screen when playing touchscreen games 
But what we're interested in for this particular video is the Miracast wireless display function. So if I touch on that, it's actually searching for wireless displays. And there you have the MS display adapter number 94 coming up on the screen. So at this point, we are now ready to connect to the TV. So all I have to do is just press this and we should be good to go within mere seconds. So let's try that now. So let's press this MS display adapter 94 on my Nvidia Shield and see if it connects. Now just, just for proof, there's no wires. I'm not connected in any way, shape or form to the TV. Okay. So let's try and see. Connecting to Android 98B8, I guess that's this. And we are connected. Now, normally what would happen is you will be given a code on this TV, and then you'll be asked to enter that code on your shield. But what I've done, I actually did it before, so um, it only asked you once, right? So what, no, normally what would happen is you would get another screen, it would give you like, I think it's a six digit code. You then enter that code on your device, so that it re and then what happened is it actually remem it remembered my, my device. So um, any subsequent connection is as easy as that. You just enable the Miracast function on your game console, and then it detects the dongle, and you just press the connect. And as you can see, it connected within mere seconds. So, so just to recap, when you're doing this for the very first time, connecting your NVIDIA Shield to your um, wireless display adapter, you follow the exact same steps that you saw me do just now, where you, um, you know, hook the dongle up to the TV, and then you, you know, remember the channel that you're connected to. In this case, it was HDMI channel three. Then you go in your NVIDIA Shield, you turn on the Miracast uh, wireless radio, and then you wait for it to detect that dongle. You select that dongle, and then when you're doing it for the very first time, you're going to be asked to, um, you're going to see a code. I think it's a six-digit code or password that you would then be asked to enter in on your device. And all that does is authenticate the device uh, with the dongle. And then you're connected. Um, and then any subsequent connection would be just like how you saw it just now. I just turn on the Miracast um, setting and I just, it detects the dongle, it's press, and in two seconds I'm connected. So as you can see, um, there are some improvements over the last um, dongle. So first off, there is the the lag was really bad on the on the very first model, but I've improved upon it. And as you can see, when I move the right the menu items here, when I move the icons, there's like still there's still a lag. I mean, you're gonna get that with a wireless connection, but it's it's uh, it's it's reduced. Um, all right. So, um, but other than that, it's pretty good now. With this uh, dongle, you don't just stream video, you also stream sound, so full multi multimedia streaming. So, that being said, let's demo a couple of games and see how that it works. ARC Redux, this is a really, really cool game. Graphics are superb, and as you can see on the big screen, they look even better. Controls are very responsive, it's pretty good.
So I hope you enjoy that video. Now I'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that and that will take you to our website www.redtechbot.com When you get on that site there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter and when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways and by tech giveaways these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away uh, and these are some examples there's other stuff as well um, and the good news is you're, you know, you just have to enter your email address once and you know it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address of course to, to contact the winner to tell them hey you've won something um, and you know it's, it's, uh, it's really cool. And of course the newsletter will have you know, you know updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know what's coming up next, um, you know new stuff uh, in the industry and even information on, on future giveaways and stuff, right? So it's really, a really, really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is, on this side on the screen here up here, on my left, uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now by subscribing, of course, you will be you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is, I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be, you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So, yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day.